Hello everyone, uh, just wanted to do a quick, quick impressions video uh, after a day here at EA Guildford playing FIFA 15. Uh, by the time most of you guys are watching this, E3 will be well underway, but uh, we have been playing on the 30th of May, um, so about 10 days before E3, right. and uh, we've spent a good couple of hours with the game. Uh, and obviously, you know this beautiful man, Mr. Oh, Asim Tanvir. The beard. Tanvir. The beard. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so we've played a couple of hours, obviously, heard what they've got to say about the game, uh, given it some of our time. And uh, let's start off, Asim. Your yeah. main points that you can take away from the game overall. What, do you, what are your thoughts? What do you think? Yeah. Um, I'll hold the mic, shall I? Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think the main things, the first thing that hit me when I uh, started playing it, visually. Uh, the, the visuals are much improved. So FIFA 14 on the PS4 wasn't a bad looking game. It wasn't, I wouldn't say a true next gen game. And I wouldn't say FIFA 15 is either at this point a true next gen game visually. But what they've done, what they've improved, it seems like is they've made the visuals more realistic. So first of all, you'll notice the lighting. So the, in FIFA 14, it was pretty dull. Yeah. So the contrast is pretty low, brightness a bit low as well. Looked nice still, but here you've got, um, from what Sebastian and Enrique were saying, um, they've got realistic uh, sunlight, essentially, yeah. uh, is what he was saying in layman's terms. There we go. Um, and that has an effect uh, on the pitch, especially in the day um, where, you know, everything looks really sharp and crisp and bright. Um, and then at night time when it's raining and stuff, you see like the, you know, the nice little shadows uh, reflecting off and everything like that. Um, and the pitch, the pitch looks bloody awesome. Yeah. Um, I know it's a... I guess in the grand scheme of things, maybe it doesn't matter, but it's a football pitch, it shouldn't matter. Um, it degrades, so over time it degrades, like if you're sliding around, you'll see marks on the pitch, uh, footprints, um, and especially in the rain. So I played quite a few matches in the rain, although that annoyed stuff. You don't, you don't, like, you don't like playing in the rain. Um, but in the rain, uh, you'll get more puddles, uh, you'll get like sl uh, s sliding marks on the pitch, um, and that in turn in terms of the new ball physics as well which i'm sure we'll talk about later um it you know it affects where the ball goes and the spin of the ball and everything like that um so it has a pretty dramatic effect on the gameplay as well uh in in, in mostly a positive way um and i think that's the s sort of first few things i noticed and then what hit me was the passing so they've changed the ball physics as i said um so i think the point uh sebastian or nick made in the in the presentation was that in the previous game, the, as soon as a, uh, a player touched the ball, the spin would be zero. Mm. So they'd be sort of almost perfectly control it. Mm. Now the ball uh, spins according on how you touch it. It, re it won't just drop to zero straight away. Yeah. So That's it will, set to zero. yeah, yeah, it will, it will basically make for more realistic situations with the ball and without the ball as well. Um, and players will take, uh, uh, you know, touches and they'll they'll adjust their body accordingly to make. Uh, the right pass in the right situation. Uh, sometimes it won't come off, but that's that's real, you know that happens. That's football. Um, and yeah, in general, I think those are the first things I noticed. Um, I'm not sure about you. Well, for me, I, I have to say I, I agree with most of what, what, the points you made. Uh, visually, like you said, the light, the difference in the light, differences in the lightning, uh, light, uh, lighting, li <laughs> yeah. in the lighting. Um, are actually quite profound. Um, you just it gives you a sense that there's actually like a, an extra layer of, of, of graphical goodness or gloss in the game. Um, I don't think much has changed with regards to, you know, like obviously it's still 1080p, 1080p, yeah, yeah. 60 frames per second. I don't think they've changed much with regards to uh, textures or anything like that. I think it's pretty much the same. Yeah. Um, they're still using the same photo model, f facial models that they were last year, but the lighting has actually made the improved improved the game how the game looks. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Especially the grass. The grass looks better grass this year. Great. Yeah, <laughs> that um, great. yeah. We were told that the grass was going to well, look yeah, better. Yeah, it so does look great. Yeah. It does look good. Um, and uh, like you said, I'm impressed by the fact that every every time you slide on the turf, or there's or there's a t challenge somewhere, if you go back to that place, mm. the, the the turf's still affected there. Um, mud on the kits. Mud on the kits as well. Yeah. yeah. From the so in, the, in 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 a rainy in a, in a rainy pitch, um, you know you, you'll see like I remember Perlo uh, looking at the back of Perlo's jersey and the, and, the, and the mud was on the, the top on the top right uh, yeah. of his of, of his of the back of his shirt. Because that's where he landed. And, and, so, and yeah. so it's 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 there is attention to detail there. Mm -hmm. um, uh, another thing is obviously the the, the animations. You know the put the shirt pulling which. 
uh, we're told you can't control it based on what what's happening at the time. Mm -hmm. There isn't actually a trigger for it, um, but there are animations, and you can see yeah. the shirt actually it's being part pulled. Part of the push and pull mechanic, which is already existed in FIFA. So yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and we can also see uh, hair movement again. These yeah, are yeah, yeah, these yeah. Are David Luiz and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th these are nice little touches <laughs> and, and 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 things that that do make an inference. Uh, for me, I think what you mentioned, Asim, um, with the ball uh, is the fact that not resetting. The spin of the ball to zero for me has has had a, has had a big impact on the game. I feel like um, the way the ball moves and the way the, the way the way players control it now with the inside and the outside of the boot. Yeah, yeah. So now now you now you can dribble the ball with the inside and the outside of the boot. That's another thing they've added this year. It really really adds a new element to the game. Um, and I feel like the ball won't necessarily behave predictably because I, f I felt like last year the ball would behave predictably, but also you just end up with the ball bobbling loosely and things like that. There's, yeah. there's, there's less of that this year, don't yeah, you feel? Yeah. No, no, for sure. Um, I think going back to the ball physics, as you said, um, it makes for a more realistic game overall. Um, in the previous FIFAs, you could all, well, in previous FIFA 14 on the PS4, you could almost judge how the ball would react in, in pretty much almost any given situation. Um, and as you mentioned there, the loose balls, uh, me and uh, Gary Clark, who's sitting behind the camera there, you can't see him. Uh, we play, yeah, <laughs> we play a lot of games online. And I think what frustrates us the most is when you're defending and you're trying to get the ball away. And, and it's just in, it's in a situation where, where the ball should go away, but it just bobbles straight back. Uh, and we were just speaking to, uh, to Nick Shannon there, and he agreed um, that that happens a lot in, the, in, in FIFA 14 on the PS4. Uh, here, it's not gone i'm not gonna lie it's not gone but it's less prevalent yeah. um which is a plus um so we felt like you know if you're defending you have more control which is kind of one of the things they're going for more player control uh which leads us into i guess more the the agility of the players is more prevalent as well so you can't turn on the dime um and there is you know that locomotion still there they were still talking about it today uh but the more agile players will will stand out so much to uh, sus delight, Suarez is an absolute beast in the game. So if you can know, if you know how to control him, he is an absolute pain to deal with. And that's right, like real, like real life. He is a pain on the football pitch. He is like a nuisance, like a bee buzzing around you. He is always there, um, and that's the case here as well. And Sterling for Liverpool as well uh, is really good. Sturridge as well. Uh, I guess you must mention the teams in, the, in were Liverpool, City, Dortmund, PSG. Madrid, Barcelona, and randomly LA Galaxy, um, <laughs> and we only had two stadiums: uh, Etihad and New Camp, uh, all weather types. Um, but yeah, um, that's that's kind of a, what I, I can add to like the whole player control thing. I, I mean, they're going for a more realistic, uh, more personal dribbling style for players, so you can players like Bale, like I uh, mentioned, Suarez stand out, which uh, I know player individuality has been a thing about not being you know that hot in fifa uh it's still not amazing here don't get me wrong um but the players the star players stand out uh ibrahimovic stands, you know stood out as well uh for psg um bale ronaldo um i thought messi wasn't that great i'm not sure yeah, what you think poor. I, I think maybe on the back of a, a, an average season yeah, well, by his standards maybe maybe his stats are a little drop but I, I agree i think the the changes that they're making to gameplay if, um for example now, where, when, a, when a player is very heavily left-footed and they use Gareth Bale as an example, yeah. um, he dribbles with his left foot and you see that in game. Because I think in FIFA 14, he'd use both his right and his yeah. left. Um, so now you'd see the player who, who, who predominantly is using one foot dribble with that one foot. Um, there's also this new system they have um, which uh, affects players' emotions and their, and, and, and their, and their and, you, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. with visual indicators of how a player performs. So, for example, they've linked, um, you know, a player's mood with all the other players on the pitch on their team. So for example, if, um, if you've got a striker and he misses an opportunity in the first 10 minutes, you'll see his other teammates motivating, clapping, trying to get him you know, to, to, to keep trying and keep going. But if that trend continues, and let's say I, I did it with, with Tevez and yeah. Juventus, I just couldn't play with Juventus at all. I, <laughs> yeah, their style of play didn't, didn't, didn't work for me. Well. Yeah. So, um, uh, so yeah, so I, I kept on missing chances with Tevez. Uh, the same with Lorente, and at the beginning, obviously Vidal kept on coming up, and Perlo kept on clapping and saying, "Come on!" Uh, but then by the 80th minute, they were just throwing their hands yeah, up in the yeah. air, just going, "What the hell is this?" Um, and uh, we were also giving an example of, um, for example, Howard 
um, scoring, scoring goal, an own yeah. goal <laughs> at Liverpool versus Everton and uh, and you know in the test bed obviously and, and it shows how um, you know the interaction between the players and their mood how their mood changed immediately as soon as they conceded that goal um, we're told it doesn't affect player morale um, and their performance on the pitch it's just visual indicators because um, at the moment they can't figure a way to implement that without it being unfair um, and the, uh, it's, uh, Sebastian if you listen to our to our interview with Sebastian Enrique um, he was he mentioned how you know they, they have the same issue with handballs in the game because obviously uh, when you're controlling a player you don't get to control their hands so they feel like it would be unfair to, 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 to have uh, handballs in FIFA um, but overall I mean most of the changes are subtle I have to say that most of the changes are subtle there's, no, there's new, no new back of the box features um, in that sense but most of the changes are subtle um, but they, they, they enhance the playing experience um, there's a lot that they, 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 they still haven't announced uh, that's going to be announced over the next coming months E3 uh, by the time you hear this um, and also um, and also I'm sure Gamescom um, and there'll probably be some announcements before Gamescom between E3 and Gamescom as well um, but so far so good we've enjoyed it um, mm -hmm. it's definitely a, a, an improvement on last year's game oh, yeah, in, yeah, in, yeah. In, in many aspects um, um, I think one part we kind of missed out was uh, the AI. So the AI they talked about. Um, so they want to introduce more realistic AI. So it seems like they kind of have. I didn't see like. I guess they. I was talking to Gary. Uh, the only true indication we'll get of that is playing a full season in career mode, because mm -hmm. you'll see the progression that uh, they want to. I've been talking about team styles for ages. FIFA doesn't ne never had team styles, so this is kind of their slight way of introducing it but i didn't really notice it i'll be honest um so they've got like the uh, teams will sit back and go forward depending on you know if they're losing one nil or if it's nil nil it's the big championship fine you know game w w like defining game or a cup final or whatnot um i mean the example the only example i can go of is what i played uh, i was playing um uh barcelona against real madrid i was barcelona um, and I, I was playing, okay, I wasn't playing on world class, I was playing on, on professional, but you still, you expect Madrid to attack, that's, that's, that's in their nature. And uh, I know Barcelona liked to have the ball, and I did have pretty much all the ball. Um, after the first half, Madrid actually had no shots. Um, and I was just peppering, you know, passing around, you know, um, and it didn't seem like Madrid. I mean, Gary noticed that they were just hoofing the ball away. Um, which kind of goes against what they were saying, mm. so maybe it's not fully there yet. Because I, I, I think I can mention, mention Nick uh, Shannon sh saying in the presentation that that's maybe not 100% there yet. So hopefully we'll see it in later code. Because um, I think team styles is, is kind of a big thing, and it should be part uh, of, of a football game uh, because it adds variety and it adds depth to the career mode uh, course, overall. Um, so hopefully they can improve that. Uh, but that's one thing they did mention that they want to do, uh, and. They talked about a bit about fundamentals as well. Just um, I Little guess additions here and there, yeah. tweaks. Um, so, so some of the tweaks that were mentioned about fundamentals, uh, I've got a couple, a couple of them written down. The iPad open. Get the iPad get, open. Get, mate. Get, get it. Get it going. <laughs> get it going. His code is one, but two, in, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> but in the meantime, uh, they have made tweaks to the to the to the player models, yeah, the frameworks, yeah, 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 and that's something yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. That, that that we didn't mention. Um, uh, and also one of the biggest things we didn't mention. The next gen engine is coming to PC. It's coming to PC, yeah. Sorry. We so, didn't so we didn't we didn't mention that, but PC fans PC re guys, rejoice. Love. Some love from <laughs> EA. Uh, so you're gonna have the next gen. What, what's on PS4 and Xbox One essentially will be on PC as well. Um, but I think th this is a smart move because obviously FIFA World will represent the free to play option for yeah. those who don't necessarily want to invest or aren't really fussed about having the, the you know the, the graphics and then all the modes and all that. So um, it's, it, it provides it provides. PC players with loads of options. Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely, definitely. Uh, but fundamentals, um, you know, there's a few uh, like, oh, for example, the, the, the ad boards change now. Ad boards, yeah. And you yeah. know what? You know what? It actually might sound stupid, but they look really good. Yeah. They look uh, really, really good. Little things here and there, the little touches that yeah. actually influence yeah, yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, the the other thing I wanted to talk about was uh, with regards to. Um, we mentioned player models already. Play, yeah, play, yeah, the player model models are so actually much better. Yeah, yeah. So th th they've changed the animation rig. Whereas yeah. before, I, rem I remember the shoulder used to stick out, like it almost like they lift their arm. Yeah, 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 yeah and yeah, they just yeah. didn't look natural. But now, their actual shoulders look natural. The arms, the body, um, the abdomen, everything looks more sort of in line with with, mm. with an athlete, a top a top sports athlete, yeah. uh, which which is great. Um, 
And uh, yeah, so they've got uh, the, the LED boards, um, corner flags, and physics now have nets. You can kick the corner so flag essentially. Yeah. It, so you, when you when you touch the corner flag, it kind of bounces. Uh, so the uh, any, crossbar and will rattle if you hit like a really hard shot as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then when you sh sh kick the ball into the net, you see the bottom of the net raise up yeah, yeah, uh, because yeah. that's supported with the, with the plastic, uh, which is great. Um, facial expressions, a lot more facial expressions this year. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Zlatan one was pretty. Oh my days! So this is what Zlatan did when he scored. <laughs> Basically that, <laughs> which is outstanding. Um, so overall, the, the, you know, the, there was there was a lot there was a lot of additions, a lot of small stuff here and there that I'm I'm pretty sure will get mentioned. Um, but th I think the good thing is, uh, and I I, I I felt this way with FIFA 14 on PS4 is that even three months down the line, um, when I was playing, I, I'd still see new animations or new new sort of touches, and you'd be like, oh, I've never seen that before, and I'm pretty sure that would be the case here. They, they mentioned over 600 touch animations. Yeah, I remember when you. When you asked Sebastian about the animation number, he was like, can't really put a number on it, to be honest. There's like so many. Um, and you'll notice little ones throughout as you play. And I think that's kind of the beauty of football games. Like you don't want things to get stale. Uh, you want to see something new for like the hun hundredth time or the thousandth time you play a game. Um, and the stuff they've done here it certainly seems like it's going in the right direction. I guess it's not a huge, huge step uh, compared to FIFA 14 on the PS4. But what they've done is actually had a significant enough effect on the gameplay to uh, to make it, I guess, when it comes out, a worthwhile upgrade. Um, and obviously, we don't know about career mode and, and ultimate team and everything yet, so we can't uh, say what they're doing there. But again, we'll find out E3 and Gamescom and stuff. Uh, but purely from a gameplay point of view, just playing this now, uh, this code is about 50, 60 percent complete. They were saying. Um, yeah, I'm in already. To be honest, it's it's uh, shaping up to be really really good. And they had and they had less time. I mean, we have to take into consideration that uh, the PS4, Xbox One versions came out in November. Yeah. Uh, so they probably had to be ready end of October, beginning of November. Mm -hmm. um, and this game's probably gonna have to be ready beginning of September if they're gonna target end of September launch. Yeah. So uh, they had less time than they norm than they than they would have normally. Uh, yeah, two months true. less. Um, so uh, it looks looks like things are on track. Um, and obviously, Asim. Uh, and Gary probably going to get to play it again at, uh, at E3, uh, and uh, a more updated build, so they'll probably be able to tell us a little bit more. But will, yeah. so far, so far, so good for EA. Um, yeah. FIFA 15 is on track; it's looking good, um, and uh, yeah, we really enjoyed playing it today. Yeah, definitely, yeah. And definitely uh, enjoyed it. look forward to uh, telling you some more down the line. Yes, yes, that's right. Peace. Put that in the <laughs> real for real. The Put outtakes, that in the yeah. real for real. The outtakes.